This is Tamang Negara, the world's oldest rainforest located in central Malaysia. And for the next two days, I am going to show you around. We will explore the rainforest on foot and by boat. We will try food on a local night market. And trust me when I say that this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to, not only in Malaysia, but in all of Southeast Asia. You don't want to miss this. Join me and let's start. All right, I am now in the main village here called Kuala Tahang, right on the edge to the rainforest. So the village is basically right behind me and then we have a little river right here and behind the river the jungle area the rainforest starts and i want to do a little boat ride here now hello what's your name uh, jaish you ken. ken saya ken yeah okay i go right here yeah. life jacket eh? i need to wear yeah. it yeah. ah okay okay so this tour is going to be for two hours we have several stops planned interesting stops and let's see how how wet i'm going to get oh we actually do have some strong currents right here oh, i think if you would go into the water here it wouldn't be easy to swim here you can also see like he's basically avoiding the strong currents uh, in the middle over there they seem to be much stronger yeah basically in the middle of the river Something is over there. What? What is it? Kingfisher. Kingfisher? Uh, ah, the bird. Yeah, bird. Ah. Oh, probably the bird was too far away for the camera to to be visible, but it was a very blue bird. Kingfisher bird. Kingfisher. Yeah. Ah, I think it's a very rare bird actually. Yeah, obviously, there's lots of wildlife here in the jungle. You have crocodile? Uh, no. no. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so no need, to, no need to be worried that there's going to be a crocodile appearing next to the boat. Wow, and have a look, it looks so beautiful here. Reminds me a little bit about uh, the Jurassic Park movie. Not sure if you know the movie Jurassic Park from the 90s, but yeah, reminds me a little bit about that movie here. The scenery here, wow, really, really amazing. Okay, I think the boat has to work now to go against uh, the current here. Check it out. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is almost like a roller coaster right here. Yeah, every once in a while, you also see some uh, other tourists. For example, here on the, on the right side now, making a little stop, going swimming here in the river, which we're also going to do later. So this is actually a quite touristy place, at least the, the main village and the near surroundings. And I am very surprised actually by the amount of Western tourists here. I wasn't expecting that. I thought, okay, there are going to be uh, local tourists, but I didn't know that this place is also that popular by Western tourists. And now the sun is coming out, so it actually gets pretty hot here. Luckily, I have sunscreen on me, so I hope I'm well protected. How, how deep is the water? How many meter? Seven meter? Oh, seven meter. That's actually more than I was expecting. I can go off? Yeah, okay. You go swimming too? You going swimming too? No. no? Uh, <laughs> Only me. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Check it out. And we have many, many little fish right here. Hope you can see it on the camera. Ah. I'm not sure if I ever went swimming in a more beautiful location than this one. This is absolutely astonishing. And let me tell you one thing, the air quality here is absolutely amazing. Just taking a deep breath, it feels so, ah, so good. I remember uh, a few weeks ago, I have been in Kathmandu, Nepal, and that was one of the worst air qualities I ever experienced. And now, three weeks later, I am here with probably one of the best air qualities. Ah, amazing. Oh, would you dare to swim here or would you be scared? So far I didn't feel any fish touching my legs or my feet. And actually the, the sand, so some parts there are quite a few rocks so you need to be careful where you're stepping on. But actually here the sand is like very very soft. Almost feels like deep sand. Is that the English word? Deep sand? Like sand where you can sink in pretty quickly. Or I think the English name is quicksand actually. So it almost feels like quicksand. Well, I'm really really enjoying this. 
just being here in the middle of the nature, in the middle of the world's oldest rainforest. Your friend. <laughs> Hello, Apakaba. Bye. Ah. You come here every day? Every day? Yeah. And still you think it's beautiful? No. Not beautiful? Just normal? No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing special for him. They can't swim anymore, but they didn't listen. Ah. They can't swim anymore? They are really tired. Oh, is the, the current pushing them away? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that a dangerous situation? <laughs> oh, nobody seems to really care. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but the current in the middle of the river is kind of strong. Yeah, but being stuck in a current can be pretty dangerous. Yeah, but okay, they are, they are back and safe. Is the current that strong over there? Strong, but doable. <laughs> doable. It doesn't look that strong, but uh, yeah, I think once you're in the middle there, it actually is really strong. Now that I see how beautiful this place is, I'm really surprised that there are not more local tourists here. I hardly see any Malaysian tourists here. It's only all Western tourists. That actually really surprises me now. Now we are passing by the, the rafters here. Oh, actually, they are Malaysian tourists. <laughs> the first local tourists I see here. I actually think this place is popular for team building events. So uh, Malaysian companies, they come here to have like, yeah, building, team building events. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you, uh, you get wet on these tours. <laughs> okay, I'm making a stop here now uh, to, uh, to get some drone shots for you guys. And these guys are just driving by here. Oh, swimming by. It looks like they are struggling a lot with the currents here. Is it difficult? Is it difficult? Yeah. Not easy, right? Mm. Not easy. Oh, I think they are stuck here now. <laughs> no, Belen. Belen? Uh, uh, no, Belen. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't balance, no, then... If I don't, if I don't no balance, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. yeah, I think if you, if you don't have to ride balance, then it's easy to, to yeah. get... Uh, if I don't know balance, yeah, on the side here, like, like these guys. Go no, if I don't know balance, no go straight. Ah, no balance, then no ah. go straight. Okay, I got you. Okay. No balance, no go straight. Mm. Okay. Ah, I think they made it out of here. I think they were stuck in the in the rocks here. Oh. oh hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I remember like three years ago, I did something similar in uh, Kedah, another state in Malaysia. And that was uh, a lot of fun as well, together with uh, some other friends. I did this in when I was in Kedah. Yeah. I, I do the same. You no, no, the same? No, when I visit Kedah, you know Kedah, Malaysia? No, no. Kedah? No, no. Oh. Is my no pronunciation Kedah. that off? Hmm. Kedah? How do you pronounce Kedah? Kedah? Like you, Langkawi? No. No. <laughs> Maybe we have just a little bit of a misunderstanding here. Ah, you are from, from here? Yeah, from here. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I think uh, he understood that I'm asking if he is from Kedah, but he's actually from here, okay. And how, how many years you work as, as a boat driver? How many? Long time already? Uh, one trip, five dollars, five one, ringgit. One trip? One trip. Five ringgit? Five ringgit. Five. You, you get only five ringgit? Yeah. Hmm. Five ringgit? Five, five ringgit. Five dollar. Five ringgit. Five dollar. Mm, five dollar. You get? Yeah. One trip? One trip. One trip, five dollar. Five dollar? Mm. Hmm. I'm not sure if I understand that correctly, but I just paid 190 ringgit for this trip. I hope he gets more than just five out of it. But uh, yeah, let me fly the drone and get some shots for you. The whole Tamang Negara National Park covers an area of over 4,000 square kilometers. Most of it is of course uninhabited. And I am really impressed by the natural beauty here. It's truly one of the most beautiful places I have seen. And I am really wondering why I see almost no local tourists here. But when I think about it, my own country Germany also has many places worth visiting. But I hardly traveled my own country before. I think sometimes we tend to overlook what our own country 
country has to offer because yeah going abroad always feels a bit more exciting somehow but if you are living in malaysia i highly recommend to not overlook this national park plenty of cool spots and things to do here including the world's longest canopy walk which we are also going to see at the end of this video okay ah yeah he was really curious to see the drone I think uh, that was maybe his first time seeing a drone. He was very curious and fascinated by how high and far it can go. So we actually had a lot of fun just now flying the drone together here. I almost don't want to turn off the camera because uh, I always feel like, wow, this is so worth filming, you know. I mean, there's not, not a lot of action going on here now, but just the, the peacefulness, the nature. I don't know about you, but I really like places like this. Now I will turn off the camera. See you then. Okay, thank you very much. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Okay. Welcome home. Welcome yeah? home. You have my helmet? Yeah. Yeah, I left my helmet here. Uh, I actually rented a motorbike a few days ago in uh, Kuala Lumpur. I will show you the bike quickly because this is going to be our way of transportation uh, over the next days. Okay. Are you? Uh, but you are not red. I'm not red? Yeah. Oh, I'm very red. Dry? No, no, I'm very red. <coughs> Everything red here. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it was uh, very uh, a lot of fun. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, terima kasih. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. To yes. You want to have a shout out? Yeah. I want to uh, be your subscriber. Oh, you can subscribe. I'm very happy about that. What is the, the name of your place here? Sky Corner Restaurant. Sky's Corner Restaurant. Oh, you can see it here. Hello, madam. Okay, and we're going to have dinner at a very interesting place. But first, uh, let me show you a little bit around the village here. And actually tomorrow, which will be the end of this video, we're going to return. And then I'm going to go over there and hike in the jungle. So that's going to be at the end of the video. But first, let me introduce you to this little bike right here. Do you have any suggestions for a name for the bike? Let me know in the comments. I got this bike in Kuala Lumpur a few days ago. Uh, rented it for 28 ringgit per day. Got it for the next two weeks. So we're going to use this bike to yeah, explore a little bit around Malaysia. Okay, so this is the little village right here. And yeah, as I said earlier, I'm very surprised how many Western tourists are here. I arrived here yesterday evening and uh, I wanted to uh, have dinner so I drove around actually we can do that a little bit so you can see there are some restaurants here and there and it was really not easy to find a restaurant with an empty seat and yeah that's basically it already so it's basically just uh, yeah the main road right here and then some little side alleys some restaurants here and there so it is quite small and yeah that's why I'm even more surprised to see uh, the amount of tourists here and then my hotel is a uh, at the end of this road so like uh, 100 150 meters away from the main road of the village and yeah i'm going to drop off some things now at the hotel maybe change into some clothes that are not red and then we're going to an interesting place to get some dinner oh, actually before we're going to get some dinner i want to show you something that i found at my hotel's mini mart here uh, which i've never seen before and which i really like I think I might found the world's best ice cream. Hello. Oh. Mango sticky rice ice cream. Have you seen this before? Oh, this is very delicious. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I tried it yesterday. Okay. And it's very good. But I've never seen this before. Wow. So not, not even in Thailand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it a new, maybe new ice cream? Same uh, Thailand uh, sticker. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I, 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 ice cream. <laughs> yeah, in Thailand you have mango sticky rice as a dessert, and here you have it as an ice cream. Maybe this. Uh, maybe I will get some more. Let's see. So we have a little mini mart here at the hotel where you can get some snacks and some drinks. All right, I will get some refreshments now and then I'll see you for dinner. All right, I have left the village where I'm staying. I drove for like 10 minutes. And now I am at the neighboring village because I heard that there's a night market today. And I haven't been on a proper night market in a long time. 
especially not in Malaysia. So I'm very curious to get dinner here. I think you can already see it behind me. Uh, can I park here? Some chickens running around. So we have proper village vibes here. Can I park here? Can I park here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Can I leave my helmet here? Probably I can. Yeah. I trust the Malaysians. Nobody will steal my helmet here. Okay, let's see how big this market is. And yeah, I hope I also can avoid the tourist crowds now. If you know my channel, then you know I'm not a big fan of uh, touristy places. So all the restaurants in the main village are full with tourists. And here, hello. What are you having here? Nazi lemak. Oh, one wing at 50. And with egg. Okay, I have a look around and maybe I come back. <laughs> how, how, how big is it? Only this street? Huh? How, how many shops are here? Um, I don't know. It's right? only this street here, right? Uh -uh. Yeah? Right. Okay. okay, I have a look. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's not too big. Uh, the village here is probably also very small. Oh, we have satay here. Hello. Hi. Oh, satay. Okay. Satay. Oh, that looks good. Maybe I come back. Okay. Oh, it's always so tempting to buy something right away on the first stall. But uh, I actually want to have a little look. Oh, actually, it's bigger than I thought. Have a look. We have a few stalls right here. And then a few more right here. Hello. Actually, let's buy something right away. Uh, so we have different swai mai here. We have the steamed pao. Are these sweet? Or what is inside here? Chocolate. Chocolate, yes. Chocolate, Chocolate red bean. Curry, uh, chicken curry. Chicken curry. Oh, with chicken as well. Oh, okay. Chicken Can curry. I have with chicken? Yeah. One. Satu. Oh, this looks interesting here. Corn. Corn. Like oh. Corn pao. Corn pao. Oh, can I get one of these as well? Yeah. Yeah, one please. One and piece. one one chicken. You can change 50. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is this drink? Yeah, lime is this, um, twice. Lime? Yes, yeah. Okay, can I get one? Okay. Satu, please. Okay. Right. Tiga ringgit? Yes. Okay, three ringgit for a little drink right here. Okay, so let's give it a proper taste test because I'm very thirsty. That's why I wanted to have the drink right away. Mm, it's a little bit sour and of course quite refreshing. Uh, I think this is the end of the market already. I see some uh, vegetables are being sold here. So nothing I can really get now to satisfy my cravings. Hello. 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 Oh, I think you're working at my yeah. hotel, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you getting here? Kebab. Oh, I have kebab here. Yeah. Oh. It's chicken and this is beef. What can you recommend? Which one is better? Uh, chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Okay, maybe I try one as well. Oh, the locals uh, recommend and I'm tempted to try. See you tomorrow. Okay, enjoy. Bye -bye. <laughs> enjoy. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they are working at my hotel actually, so I saw them earlier. Oh, can I get one of these as well? Oh, I think this is the famous Assam boy drink. Assam boy, not Assam girl. We have the chicken meat here, and he mixed it with uh, cabbage, I think, and some some cucumbers. And yeah, usually uh, he adds uh, mayonnaise, but I ask uh, for no mayonnaise. How are you say five lima? Lima ring it. Okay, okay, terima kasih. By the way, this ring is actually very refreshing. Really like it. Usually, I'm not a big fan of sour drinks. But this one is like the perfect mix of sweet and sour. Actually, is it Assam Boy? I think this is Assam Boy as well. But the Assam Boy drinks I had previously were way more sour than this one. Let's try this one first, the Corn Pao. It looks very special, right? Actually fits to the yellow color of my new Malaysia t-shirt. Oh. Looks like this. So there's like corn paste inside. It's not really sweet which I prefer now. I'm not really looking for something sweet now. And yeah, these uh, fluffy, freshly steamed pow buns here. Very fluffy, very nice to eat. And then let's have a look inside. Wow. Oh, a little bit spicy, but still okay for me. That's what I love about these pow buns. You can fill them with almost everything and it always tastes really great. Whether you have sweet fillings 
or savory fillings, always really nice. Now the shawarma recommended by the girls working at my hotel. Let's see, I have some, uh, some more chicken pieces here. Just the chicken itself is uh, okay. Not that great, to be honest, but let's see how it is with uh, everything together. Yeah, the combination of all of this makes it uh, much better. Oh, now I lost a big piece of chicken. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, I hate to waste food, especially when it's chicken. Hello. I would like to have some satays. Uh, what do you have? Ayam, daging. Ah, ayam, daging. What is tong keng? Uh, tong keng. What Nos. is tong tong keng? Ah, tong keng. Not chicken. What, what is? I don't know. Tong keng. I don't know. What is tong keng? <laughs> tong keng ayam. Yeah, tong keng ayam. What, what is that? This one right here. <coughs> I need lamb. Ah, oh, this is lamb. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, I take uh, just a normal chicken satay ayam. Yeah. Um, can I have four? Four. Uh, Ampat? Ampat. 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 Okay. Need to remember all the numbers in uh, Malayu. Can I get nasi as well? Yeah. One. One. Ayam for one winged each and the rice yeah. for one winged as well. So that's uh, Lima. Lima Linge. Lima Linge. Yeah, Lima <laughs> Satu. Satu. Dua. Tiga. Five. Ampat. Lima. Lima. Nam. 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 Yes. And seven. Tujo. 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 Nam. Tujo. Lapan. Lapan. Sembilan. Sepuluh. Sepuluh. Ten. Sepuluh. Sepuluh. Ah. Okay, okay. I need to remember all of this. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes I get confused. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Sometimes I get confused because uh, I always learn a little bit of of the local language to all the countries that I visit, or of all the countries that I visit. Oh, I forgot the food. <laughs> I'm walking away without the food here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hello. Uh, so we have nasi lemak, the classic. Nasi lemak tilur mata. Tilur mata is a uh, fried egg, right? Fried egg. Fried egg, yeah. Okay, can I get uh, nasi lemak tilur mata? Nasi lemak tilur mata. You, you make this at home? Huh? Yes. You make it at home? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like homemade in the, in the pot homemade. side here. Homemade? It's uh, sweet and spicy sauce. Sweet and spicy? Uh, yes. More sweet or more spicy? More sweet. More sweet. Okay, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Not too spicy. Not too spicy. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so uh, homemade nasi lemak. Very looking forward to try that. Hi. Uh, I am goreng satu. Satu. Yeah. How do I say please? If I order food, I am goreng satu. That means one fried chicken. But I'm actually not sure how to say uh, please. Drumstick, okay? Uh, drumstick is good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Can I sit here? Yeah? Bole? Okay. Oh, there's a little kitten down there. Oh, have a look at this. Oh, hello. Oh, oh very cute. <laughs> wow, very cute. Oh my god, she's so small. Oh, let me put the food away. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> wow. Wow, this cat is... Oh, there's the mom, I think. Hello. Or maybe not the mom, doesn't look like the mom. Oh my god, the cutest cat ever. She's smaller than my hand. Oh, where is she? I don't want to step on, on, the, on the cat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, how's the light situation? Uh, maybe I need to sit on the other side. Here we go. Yeah, some behind the scenes. Always have to make sure that the light is good, the angles are good. Okay, so this is, yeah, now the light is coming towards me, so that is the best angle. Okay, have a look at this. This actually looks quite nice, right? So banana leaf, then we have the nasi lemak, the fried egg, the pieces of uh, satay chicken here, extra fried chicken, some cucumbers, and a bit extra sticky rice. And I'm going to start with the chicken, the fried chicken. Nothing too special about it. Then let's try the, the satay next. Mm. Oh, this is much better. Also, the chicken is uh, juicier, bigger pieces. Oh, and I love these crispy parts right here, a little bit burnt, but that makes it crunchy and crispy. I love that. Hello, good evening. Hey, I'm from Germany. I'm Germany. Germany, yeah. Saya oh, Dari, Germany. Uh, now, two weeks. Two weeks. But before, I stay over one year already. It's always interesting to be in places where people are not that used to see foreign tourists. 
I mean, obviously the, the village over there is quite touristy. I already told you about the amount of Westerners there. But this village here, just 10 minutes away from it, people seem to be very surprised to see me here. It's gonna be a bit spicy, I think. But he said more sweet than spicy, right? Let's see. Mm. Oh, he was right. There's a, there's a spicy touch to it, definitely. But I can also taste uh, the sweet note to it. Okay, finished everything. That was actually quite good. Although my mouth is a little bit burning now. Because in the end, the sambal was more spicy than sweet. But you know what? When you appreciate someone's food and it was delicious, let them know. It was very good. Okay. Sit up, sit up. Very delicious. Sit up, sit up. Sit up, sit up. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. See, when you say someone, uh, their food was delicious, that uh, brought a little smile to her face. So uh, I like to do that. Hello. Hello, I'm Oh, you know me? Yeah, of course. I also oh. saw your video. Oh, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Where are you from? You're from here? Yes, I'm from here. Ah. So I saw you uh, at the Nasi Lemak store. Yeah, yeah. I recognize your, your face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> people recognize you. Uh, a few days, I see you video 30, uh, 30 hours. Ah, from In, Bangkok to from Kuala Lumpur. Lumpur. Oh, yeah, the, the long I train ride. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like it? Yes. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Okay. Oh, always nice to meet people who are watching my videos. And uh, check it out. The helmet, of course, is still here. I uh, didn't doubt that. All right, I'm going to head home now and then see you tomorrow for the hiking trip. Actually, no. Let me leave the camera on. I want to show you a little bit of the surroundings here. So you can see how rural it is and how peaceful it is here. Just a quick look. I'm going to show you more of this area probably in the next video when we are traveling to another town. But yeah, I find it very interesting just to uh, ride along here. These rural roads here, it's peaceful, it's calm. It's nice to see. Ah, I miss that, having my own bike, the freedom of going wherever I want to go to. Yeah, this really is one of the most beautiful areas I have seen in all of Malaysia and if you know the history of my channel you maybe know that I have been to every single state of Malaysia. I spent over one year of my life living and traveling in this country but I've never visited this area and now I'm wondering why. Why did I never come here before? Because it is very one of the most beautiful areas of Malaysia for me. Okay, but now, see you tomorrow. Oh wow, it is 9 p.m. and it's raining so heavy here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Pouring down here. And also some lightning in the background, some thunders. Whew. Hello. I want to go where the, the canopy walk is. Uh, Alright, so that was a quick boat ride, like 30 seconds, to cross over to this side. And this is also the site where the national park begins. Okay, the do's and don'ts here at the park. One thing caught my attention. Please don't run away from predators. They have instinct to attack. That means there, are, there is a risk of running into predators here. Not really sure what's this on the picture here. Looks maybe like a bear or maybe like a, like a tiger. I don't think there are tigers here, but okay, we're going to find out. How long does it take to go all around? Three hours. Like Three this. hours. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should buy more water then. So five for the canopy walk, five for the camera and one winget for the park entrance. Yeah. And the water? Two winget. Two winget, okay. It's not possible to get lost here? No, just very follow easy. the sign. Just follow the sign? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So he said three hours. Uh, let's check the time and then see how long I actually need. Um, it is now 1.20. So let's see when I will be back here. Let's go. Okay, now you may think, oh, this is quite touristy. That is not a proper jungle experience. There's even a proper boardwalk to walk on. Uh, that might be true because this part of the, of the park is uh, quite touristy. But if one would go beyond these tourist borders, then of course there's a huge natural habitat, a huge proper forest, proper jungle. And yet actually there was a sign at the beginning explaining the reasons to have such a boardwalk here. It is uh, yeah, to 
don't destroy the jungle. Imagine if hundreds of people would walk these paths every day, then of course this destroys the, the, the plants here, the trees. And I can tell you it's very, very hot in here. Not sure if you can see it, but the sweat is running off my forehead here, my arms. Looks like I'm just coming out of the shower. Uh, of course, like the sunlight is blocked in here from all these trees around me. But still, it's uh, very humid in here. Oh, what happened here? Looks like a tree fell down here, destroying a little bit of the boardwalk here. But that should be no problem. Oh, okay. Okay, after like 20 minutes, the first bottle of water is almost empty. I think I should have bought even more than two. Oh, I just ran into a monitor lizard over there. This is actually the second one of these that I see today already. They are very scary. Like as soon as I was approaching, he was uh, scared and ran away. So yeah, you can see some some wildlife here as well. You have drinks here? Yes. Yeah. What do you have? Oh, 100 plus. That's the best, exactly what I need now. Okay, I have reached the start of the canopy walk right here and they're selling drinks here. And since my first water bottle is already empty, this is pretty nice. How do you get the drinks here every day? You, you carry the drinks yeah, here every day? Yeah. How long do you need to get here? Because I, I almost needed one hour to get here. Um, we, we're from um, Getty. Ah, there's yeah. a Getty nearby yeah, here? Getty, yeah. Ah. So we're coming from, from Getty. Ah, so a shortcut. Yeah, shortcut. Ah, so you don't walk here every morning one hour carrying all the drinks? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the tray for an hour now. Okay, then let's start the interesting part, the canopy walk. Which, according to the website of the park, is the longest canopy walk in the world with over 500 meter in length and some parts are up to 45 meters in height. Oh, and it is shaky here. Whew, okay, yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to heights, but oh, this is actually very shaky here. Okay, maybe I should concentrate on walking more than on filming now. Oh. 10 meters only now, okay, and this is already a little bit scary here. Okay. Whew. Oh, I actually didn't expect it that. So I need both of my hands now to hold to the sides, so excuse the camera angle for now. Oh. And yeah, this canopy walk was first built in 1992 for research purposes but then later also opened for tourists. Oh. <sighs> well, to be honest, you hear cracking sounds. It almost feels like you can fall over the edge here. It's like only going to my hip, you know. Oh, Whew. okay. So I might think that I actually have to put the camera uh, in my back now to uh, have both hands to balance myself better. So I will probably see you at the end. Okay, and I am at the end. And to be honest, it wasn't that enjoyable because it was actually a little bit scary. As you can see here, it doesn't make the safest uh, impression. And every step that you take, there's a cracking sound. It's very shaky. It's pretty high being like almost 50 meters up in the trees. Whew. So definitely don't do this if you are afraid of heights. And I am back at the entrance. Taman Negara is privileged by your presence. Please come again. And yeah, it is now four o'clock. So I spent almost three hours walking around here now. And yeah, probably lost like five liters of water. At least that's how I feel. And yeah, I know exactly what I need now. Whew. Yeah, this was much needed. Yeah, the hotel where I'm staying here has a little pool. It's not a pool where you can go swimming. They call it a dipping pool here because that's all you can do. Basically just dip in 
but it's good enough to get a little refreshment. And yeah, the hotel here is quite basic, but yeah, we are in the middle of nowhere. So actually for the location, it's actually pretty good. The, the room is quite okay. There's breakfast included here. I'm paying, I think 180 ringgits per night, including the breakfast. And yeah, if you wanna check it out as well, I will leave a link to the hotel in the description. And if you're curious to see me eating lots of Malay, Chinese and Indian food in Kuala Lumpur, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.